Hey, what's up, y'all? This your boy, Mo. All right, guys, this is Mo. How y'all doing? Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe. If not, welcome back. So, today is December the 11th, I believe. Yeah, December 11th. It's almost a new year, and it is Tuesday. In other words, I wanted to start having a segment called Truth Tuesdays. Because I feel like it starts telling the truth any day of the week. But since it's Tuesday, and Tuesday and Truth both begins with a T. See where I'm getting from here. <laughs> Alright, so Truth Tuesdays. Um, I feel like a lot of people sugarcoat a whole bunch of shit. And I personally hate doing that. I hate sugarcoating to my friends. I just feel like if you can't handle the truth, then that is something that you have to work on. Even sometimes I can't handle everything that a person saying to me, but at the same time, you have to work on that. Because if not, that just shows that you just can't handle anything that life throws at you. So, with that being said, I do feel like people do need to hearten up a little bit and not be so sensitive. A lot of people in the LGBT community are very sensitive. I can be sensitive at times, depending on the subject. And that is something that I'm actually working towards. Um... Especially when you are getting caught up in something, you get hella sensitive and just hella aggressive for no reason. Like, oh, what you talking about? Isn't it? Like, bruh, there's no need for all of that. Like, there is no need. Just, it's cool. <laughs> no need to do all of that. So, I feel like. If we just start, like, being honest with ourselves and being honest with the situation, then, yo, like, everything will be cool. Um, I do feel like a lot of people need to start, like, just being themselves. Like, with me growing up, I was not always myself. I was always, like, I don't want to say pretending, but... I was so weird about, like, fitting in. And I just wondered, like, why I'm trying to fit in and stuff like that. Like, who cares? Like, if you like me, if you like me, if you don't, then that sounds like a whole personal problem. And, you know, I'm going to move on with my life. And I feel like that should just be a testament to everybody else. Just be yourself. Like, fuck what everyone else has to say. Fuck all the, you know, haters and stuff like that. Like, on my Instagram channel not too long ago, I said that black men especially need to start complimenting each other and not insult each other all the time. I feel like if we actually started to compliment each other and not always ridicule each other, judge each other about certain things, we can probably get along, and a lot of black men would probably be okay. Like, a lot of us would not be on the street. A lot of us would not be in jail. And quite a few of us would actually be alive right now. If we actually made a difference and not tear each other down. I know women tear each other down, but we do it to the degree. Like, all right. For instance, I'm gay. A little bit more especially with black gay men. Like, come on, let's be real. Like, if I was a white gay man, I probably would have had it a little easier. But since I'm African American, and I'm from the projects, and I'm gay, I'm African American male, I'm from the projects, and I'm gay. Come on, like, <laughs> let's be real here. Like, not a lot of people see a lot of promise with that. Like, 
I would probably be the first person on everybody's radar. Like, and of course, I feel like everyone feels though like gay people are so easy to be targeted because we're so sensitive. Not all gay people are sensitive. I feel like there are some gay people that are probably hard as hell. Probably harder than me. I'm hard sometimes, but sometimes I, like, my show can be cracked. Just given the right opportunity. So, I say this to just be like, look. We have to start being nice to one another. And not be so judgmental. Because you don't know what someone else is going through. Everyone wants to be judgmental or just say like, oh, this person's going through this. Oh, this person is that. You don't know what's going on with that person's life. To just carry on and just be judgmental just so that person can go back to the shell that they was. I was one of them who always had a shell that was not willing to be broken. I wanted to stay in that shell forever. But like, all right, fuck y'all. I'm in the shell. Good luck trying to break Good luck trying to crack the shit. But no. Can't be like that on time. You have to be willing to go outside of your comfort zone. And you have to be willing to just be like, alright. I just wonder I'll break it. Just don't fuck with my heart. That's it. I feel like if men wasn't as so egotistical, because men have huge egos. Women's egos are not big enough. Men has huge egos. And I think that's why women look down on us a lot, especially black men. I, I think like a lot of, I think why a lot of people look black, very egotistical. We feel like that sometimes we feel like no willing to listen they feel like oh by us being man and by us being black people you know we can handle it just fine nah there are some things that we need help with but we also have to take the time to actually let it out so I say that just to say look if we all get our acts together I feel like the world would be a better place Truth Tuesdays. So, um, if y'all have anything that y'all want me to talk about, whatever issues, please let me know. Y'all can let me know here in the comment section. Um, on that, it's been fun. It's been real. Enjoy y'all Tuesday. Enjoy the rest of this week. And see y'all later.